Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm on the beautiful island of Tenerife. I'm at the Ihela del Botanico, the little botanic garden of La Orotava. A little bit confusing because the big botanic garden in Santa Cruz is also the botanic garden of La Orotava, but this is the Ihela del Botanico in the city center of La Orotava, right behind the town hall. Well, and here there are some bananas. Some quite puny looking bananas. I mean, they know how to properly cultivate bananas in the Canary Islands, but those here, they look like they haven't gotten enough water or nutrients. Quite a strange banana, reddish brownish foliage. This is probably normal for this species or variety of, or hybrid. I don't know what it is. The Spanish used to collect plants from their entire vast global empire, the first global empire, by the way, here in Tenerife, in La Orotava. So this could be from anywhere. It could be a wild banana from Asia. It could be some strange variety. Pretty blood red parts here of the, of the leaf sheets of the pseudostem. The fruit, they look kind of not very well developed. Usually banana fruit should be more plump, even in the wild bananas. There are a couple exceptions like the monkey finger banana. This is not the monkey finger banana. Those are definitely ripe. Those here are unripe. Let's see what's lying on the ground underneath. Oh, this doesn't look that good. What about this one? This looks a little bit better. Malnourished bananas, definitely not as plump as they are supposed to be. Still, let's try what little flesh is there. No seeds. Though this is not a wild banana. Hmm. Almost no sweetness. Some sourness. This tastes more like a like a soft apple than like a banana. Yeah. Yeah, here we can see the abortive seeds, the undeveloped seeds. Strange taste. A little bit boring. I wouldn't really eat it except in a survival situation or out of curiosity like now. I don't know, I mean, we're here a little bit high. The Orotave is at, what, 500 meters above sea level. That's a little bit high for bananas, but they are banana plantations until not, uh, yeah, almost until the city of Loro Tava, so that shouldn't be the problem. Well, the bananas look very puny, so definitely starved for nutrients. But is this the problem, or is this maybe some primitive cultivar which taste-wise cannot compete with others? Very strange. So, folks, please tell me your ideas on this banana. Here again, the leaves. The young rolled-in leaves. The flower buds. The male flowers. Well, the female flowers up there are too high up. Let's zoom in. Yeah. No sign, unfortunately. This seems to be so typical for so many botanic gardens. A lot of gardeners would care properly for plants, but still not have signs. So yeah, please tell me what this is, folks. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Tenerife. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.